Welcome into the August 24th episode of the Locked On Lease podcast. I'm Mike DiStefano with Dave Morissuti. And on today's show, Dave, Monday Night Raw invaded the Scotiabank Arena. Uh, we weren't there. We had some friends that were, though. But, man, was there ever some Maple Leafs content for us to talk about today. So we'll get right into it on today's episode of Locked On Leafs. Your Locked On Maple Leafs, your daily podcast on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hello and welcome into the Locked On Leafs podcast, one-stop shop for all things Leafs. I'm your host, Mike DiStefano from TSN 1050 Toronto Radio, also known as Al's brother on TSN's Overdrive and TSN 1050's Leafs Lunch. Joining me, it's my co-host Dave Morissuti from Sportsnet, also writer for the NHLPA. Locked On Leafs is a daily Maple Leafs Center podcast, so be sure to subscribe for free. Wherever you get your podcasts from, you can also now check us out on video. We're up on YouTube. Check us out, Locked On Leafs on YouTube, and uh, subscribe. That'd be uh, greatly appreciated. Um, so, Dave, d- did you watch Raw uh, Monday night when they were in Toronto? Yeah, I did. I was debating whether I was going to go because, you know, there was a... I, I usually would go, one, not every year, but once every other year I would go. It was the first time since SummerSlam, I believe, that was right on that live taping of WWE. Because I think they were at the Coca-Cola Coliseum like during Christmas, weren't they? I th- Actually, I, yeah. did that that may have gotten canceled because that was about when the Omicron variant was running rapid. So that may even have gotten canceled. But um, yeah, it's the first time in a while that like a live taping of uh, of Raw at least had been in the city. And I know I wanted to go, but I also decided against it for whatever reason. We had a couple buddies, mutual friends, who did end up going and said that it was a great time. They had uh, had a blast down there and um. But Chad Gable, this guy, became enemy number one pretty quick. I mean, he's a, he's a heel anyway, so you expect him to come out and, and throw some punches at the hometown crowd. But he went after Austin Matthews, Dave. He, 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 he went after right Austin there. Matthews in, in the Scotiabank Arena. That's his home. Exactly. There's, like, certain things you don't like, – that gets a crowd riled up. I remember – the last time I was at a WWE event, I think it was the Iconics were still in WWE. This is like, that's how far back we're going to go here. And they made fun of the Raptors as they were coming out onto the stage. All of a sudden, a Let's Go Raptors chant just starts breaking out. <laughs> it's good. It's a great way to play with the crowd and yeah. especially to give it a little bit of that local flavor. The hockey teams have always it's- been the front and center of all the of all the the rants and uh, promos. Let's to, say. Use, to, to use, to uh, use, I guess, like a uh, a wrestling term, it's cheap heat, but it works every time. <laughs> every time it gets the crowd riled up, and here we are talking about it on a lease podcast. So you know it works, man. And if you know what they say, if it, if it ain't broke, uh, don't fix it. But we actually have the audio of the full chirp. Not only did he chirp the team as a whole but also what he said about Austin Matthews. Why don't we play that for uh, the folks who may have missed it, and uh, we can chat about it on the other side. And I decided to start my search right here in Canada. Although I'm starting to regret it because I've looked up and down Toronto, and the only thing I've found is toothless, washed-up ex-hockey players who have done
I will, I will give him props for that because that was actually not bad. It wasn't bad. It was a pretty good, pretty good rib. Um, it, it was it was a good promo. I'll definitely give him that. Like but, it got the crowd going with the goalies go chance. But three things. First of all, a dig at Tim Hortons, the national treasure of of Canada. And you heard Toronto, yeah, you heard the commentary. I like Tim Hortons, man. What the heck was that all about? I know. I like Tim Hortons, too. I had it this morning. I actually ran to a former high school teacher of mine for the first time in, I guess, a decade. Uh, that was interesting. He walks up to me. He's like, Al's brother, no freaking way. What, how, how are you doing, man? Haven't seen you in 10 years, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, how's it going, Mr. Stevenson? But that's besides the point. But it was a Tim Hortons chirp. A Go Leafs Go chant that gets started. He goes out, makes a chirp about the Leafs losing to Tampa Bay. I mean, this is a team that had won back-to-back Stanley Cup, so it's not like they're a crappy team there, Chad. And uh, and then the Austin Matthews calling him a geek. Um, didn't sit well with the crowd either. So pretty good, uh, a pretty good promo there by by Chad Gable. Got the crowd going. But I'll say this: so like the whole thing about it was it was an open challenge, I guess. And he asked anybody. Anyone could have been, you know, a fan, could have been someone in the arena, could have been an awesome Matthews. Dude, I was waiting for some Maple Leaf to come out of the back. I'm telling you, Kevin Owens ended up coming out, and he ended up scoring the victory. Um, but I was waiting for <clears throat> one of the, like, uh, some Maple Leaf, whether it was, like, a former Maple Leaf, like a Darcy Tucker or a Ty Domi or something like that, or maybe even Austin Matthews. Like, I thought somebody was going to come out because he's sitting there chirping the Maple Leafs. I was like, this opportunity. maybe someone's got to come out here. Like, imagine Kyle Dubas came strutting down the down the ramp or came out of the out of the seats. Like, that'd be hilarious. Or Morgan Riley or something like that. Or John Tavares, the captain, coming to stick up for his team. Like, how funny would that have been? Like, I, I honestly thought it was going to happen, though. Like, the way that he was setting it up with all the chirps about the Maple Leafs, I thought maybe one of these, like some former Leaf was going to show up. The crowd was going to go wild. And then we we're going to see, you know, some sort of squash match or whatever with uh, with with the Toronto Maple Leaf and, and Chad Gable. But didn't get it. Ended up being Kevin Owens, who is a Habs fan, if I'm not mistaken. He's from Montreal. So I was like, eh. I mean, yeah, he's Canadian, so I guess whatever. But. He's a Habs fan. It's pretty well known. So it, it really, you know, didn't save the day by any means for, for Leaf fans. No, we missed out on the Michael Bunting crossover to WWE. Dude, like that's what I wanted to see. How hilarious would that have been if Michael Bunting or like Wayne Simmons, the Scarborough native, right? Hometown kid, goes out there and beats the piss out of Chad Gable and says, you keep your Maple Leafs out of your dirty mouth. That would have been awesome. But. And I know Edge was in the main event, but he's a huge Leafs fan. Like that would have set it up perfectly too. But yeah. if, he, not. if he wasn't in the main event, that it, Edge would have been the the correct pick, obviously. But uh, yeah, he was in the main event. And uh, did you see the t shirts though? The exclusive t shirts that they were selling. Let's let's toss these up here on the screen for those who are on YouTube. They could check them out. Exclusively sold yesterday at. Uh, or Monday night at the Scotiabank Arena for that appearance. Toronto Maple Leafs Edge T-shirts. Massive Maple Leaf fan. Diehard Maple Leafs fan. We should try and get him on the show sometime. I think that'd be pretty cool. I know he's done a couple of podcasts. He's been on Dangle Show. Uh, he did the rounds a few. Like, even got, he even spoke with David Alter a few days ago. He did, yeah. I saw that piece came out uh, today, I believe. Earlier today, I saw that kind of come out. Um, David Alter with uh, Sports Illustrated. So... I think we could get him on the show. I'll try and get that in the works for some time during the season. See if we can get uh, Edge at a, a bit of a low point in his schedule and see if we can get him on to chat Maple Leafs because he's a massive diehard Leaf fan. And uh, this is a sweet shirt, honestly. Like, I'm looking at this here on YouTube. If you're listening to the podcast, you can go check it out. Uh, um, well, just search up 
Edge Maple Leafs, and the T-shirt will pop up in Twitter. You, you'll see it, but it's essentially just like somebody. Uh, he's like a devil skull thing with wings, and he's got hockey sticks, and he's raising from the inferno, and he's got a Leafs jersey on. It's it's cool. It's a cool looking T-shirt. Um, kind of wish I got one because that and it, it you only could get it if you were in the building. Last night, I should have got our boy Jose to pick me up one. I, I asked our buddy Jose to pick me up one, and guess what? The lineups were so damn long. He's like, I'll go after the show. <laughs> he messages yeah. me, he's like, dude, I forgot to go. I'm oh, like, oh, man, should ask RJ. RJ may have been able to do it. Yeah, we should have asked RJ. He would have uh, He would have done it for sure. Oh, well. Obviously, I'm going to show you something else, too, though. Okay. I'm going to show you something else, because it's not just – the edge shirt that always catches me. I'm going to see if I can open this image without turning on. Okay, there we go. I got something else to show you because that's not the only least paraphernalia that edge had specifically made for him. I don't know if you've seen this. So I'm going to get rid of the shirt here. I'm going to try to find this other one back when he was like getting back into WWE. He was on uh, Well, at the time. It was Tim and Sid. So this is well back and he decides in the interview to bring out this title belt. I saw, I saw that. Yeah. That's like, if you want to know how big of a, of a least fan edge is like these, I've seen these title belts now circling on social media. Like these things are cool. We should get one like for the show. We should start doing some sort of weekly challenge and whoever wins that weekly challenge gets the belt for the week. And we have to exchange it to each other at some point. We should we should try and think of that in the comment section. If you could think of a way, like some sort of challenge that Dave and I could do on a weekly basis, we could challenge each other for that exact belt. Then I will buy one, and it will be part of the Locked On Lease podcast because that is a sweet looking belt right there. Yeah, it's a must for if you're a big Leafs slash wrestling fan. It's the perfect thing to have. Absolutely. Um, all right. Uh, so fun stuff. You know, it was a good show. Uh, you know, a couple of friends that uh, that I had there said that it was electric. The crowd was on fire. And it's always nice when you get a little bit of a wrestling Maple Leafs crossover. And I'll never forget this. I, I've been told this by many people in the who work in the sports industry. You'd be surprised how many wrestling fans there are because it's 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 kind of like stepping away from work for a minute. Whereas if you're always watching sports, whether it's hockey, baseball, basketball, football, wrestling's a little different because you're not covering it and talking about it every day. So some people don't consider that work, even though it is sports entertainment, as they call it. So you'd be surprised how many wrestling fans there are in the sports industry and in the sports business, because I saw a lot of people uh, in attendance at the, down at Monday Night Raw at Scotiabank Arena the other night that you would not have expected. The other thing too is, is like to go back to the Austin Matthews thing quickly. If it were in the States and if that were probably any other city that had like a football team, 100% that team's like top player would have been answering Chad Gable's challenge. Yeah. But unfortunately, hockey is not well known enough around the world where, again, this is a TV product, right? This wasn't a house show where, you know, they just care, pander to the fans in the arena. This is a worldwide event, right, that they're taping for Raw. So having a Michael Bunting, although we would have loved to see it, most people would be like, who the hell is this guy? I don't care. Get him off my screen. It's just like Um, George Kittle going into the WWE ring. Right, and and that makes sense because the the NFL was so much bigger. It's grandiose. He's a a household name in most households across um, North America at the very least. So that's going to make sense that they could put him in the in the ring. Gronkowski makes sense that they put him in the ring. Shaq, they put him in the ring. Right, it makes sense when you get all these guys, um, you know, these boxers that they've been able to put in there. But unfortunately, I don't think uh, I don't think. Hockey's not at the level it within North American sports where you know they would have considered doing something like that, or maybe they did, and just the Maple Leafs said, "Nah, we're not interested. It's the off season. We don't want uh, we don't want anybody to get hurt. Also, if something would have gone wrong, but either way, it was a fun show. Uh, I enjoyed uh, watching it, and 
apparently it was even better live, which it definitely sounded like it by uh, watching it through the television. BetOnline.net has the fastest and easiest way to check in on all your betting needs. Find all your favorite sports and events at the number one online source for odds, lines, and games. Find reviews and news of every league, including Major League Baseball, NFL, NHL, NBA, combat sports, and even golf. BetOnline continues to be the top online resource for all your sports wagering information from live in-game betting, scores, and podcasts. They got you covered. Head to BetOnline today or use your mobile device to learn more about the action. Bet online, it's where the game starts. On the other side, let's get into uh, what Bet Online has to say about the Maple Leafs. The team total is available, it's out there. They've got some uh, awards that are out there. Let's see where a lot of the Maple Leafs uh, sit uh, there. See if Austin Matthews, who swept the award show this past season, is he favored to do it again this year? We'll find out next on the Lockdown Leafs podcast. <laughs> 